Citation to accompany the award of the Defense Superior Service Medal to Commander William G. Sutton, United States Navy. Commander William G. Sutton, United States Navy, distinguished himself by exceptionally superior service as naval aide to the President of the United States from December 1982 to May 1985. Commander Sutton displayed superior leadership, exemplary foresight, and tireless effort, which were of paramount importance to the President and to the nation. In this highly visible position, he planned and coordinated numerous events of national and international significance. His role as the emergency actions officer for presidential travel was accomplished with expertise and professionalism. Commander Sutton served as the White House agent responsible for supervising the use of Department of Defense resources, supporting the Commander in Chief's travel throughout the world. His performance as a military coordinator for the 1984 trip to the People's Republic of China was particularly noteworthy and con excuse me, contributed immeasurably to the effectiveness of the Office of the President and to the effectiveness of the White House Military Office. Commander Sutton had the enormous responsibility of providing the training for three new aides, as well as maintaining office continuity during a period of increased presidential travel. The distinguished, distinctive accomplishments of Commander Sutton reflect great credit upon himself, the United States Navy, and the Department of Defense. Thank you. I think you would like it over here. Why? Thank you. 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 Thank
your leadership. I don't see how I'm doing anything, but I very much appreciate the opportunity to come and meet with you and to have statements to you. You know, there was another party changer in, uh, in history, Winston Churchill. He changed parties. I wasn't aware of it. Yes. And uh, for any time that anybody wants to criticize, you might just respond to what he did. Well, no, I'll use you as an example. No, it was He said, some people change principle for party, and some change party for principle. Well, you will hear that one again, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, my goodness. I understand. Well, yes, a little Oh, no, that is Why, thank you, sir. I put them on today. That's the show of that. Thank you, sir. How are you? Hi, Thanks, 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 Good to see you. Welcome aboard. Why, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. My first vote as the president was 1932. And at that time, as a Democrat, the party platform called for a 25% reduction in the cost of government, elimination of useless boards and commissions, and a return to states and local communities of the constitutional rights that have been unjustly seized by the federal government. Now, who the hell would live on that platform? Bye, Gary. Bye, Gary. Thank you very much for having me. Good. Nice to meet you, Mr. Oh, oh sir. Please don't forget. It's nice to meet you. 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 It's Yes, we we never yes. this is our yeah. chairman of our party, Mr. President. Yes, very, very successful. We're pretty excited. It's been a great well, year. I think this is great. I won't ask you that question. Uh, everybody else has been asking about what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot depends on what you say. <laughs> I have to tell you a little story back from my early days as governor. When I became governor of California, things were really unglued. It was an awful situation and a big debt had been piled up against the, con the Constitution, said you couldn't have one right. and so forth. And it seemed like every day that I went to the office, and never had no office of any kind before, it was a new world to me. And every time I went, there was somebody in front of the desk saying, we got a problem, and another problem. And one day, in the midst of all this, going for it, had the radio on in the car, and it was a disc jockey on playing records. And out of a clear blue sky, he said this line I've never forgotten. He says, Every man should take unto himself a wife, because sooner or later, something is bound to happen that you can't blame on the government. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, good. Sir, and thank you for Nancy. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you sir. Well, Mr. President, this is the uh, area of the Asian, month of the Asian honoring the agent and the federal council and agent. Well, this is our leader from Massachusetts. You're a good Absolutely. Nice to see you. Nice yes. to see you again. And you're they're going, going to make a presentation to you, and I'm going to flip yeah. over here, Mr. Right. President. Mm -hmm. Stay with me now. Oh, yeah. That's on. Yes. Well, nice to see you. I'm sure we'll come. Yes. Senator Peg Lamont from South Dakota. Well, and congratulations, we're thrilled to be here. Thank you very much. Well, nice to see you. I've just been in China. Your name is on everybody's head. So pleased to hear that. Well, it's see, that's nice to hear. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Rick Brown. I'm the former president of the General Federation. Well, and well thank you. Unfortunately, I'm here at a great personal sacrifice. It's my son's birthday today. 
and he said, I said, can I go to honor the president? He said, I get the letter to him. Which birthday is it? 14. 14. <coughs> well, so give him my very best wishes. Thank you. President, the chairman of this group is a presentation for you, this occasion. Yes, I'm, we're delighted to uh, present this. I have to forget how I'm going to read because I'm a little nervous. The, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, chambered, chambered Nautilus spiraling shell was chosen as a symbol for the Federal Council on Aging's Bertha Atkins Award for two reasons. It's one of nature's most beautiful works of art, combining function and grace. And more importantly, it's a living symbol of age existing virtually unchanged in its present form for 450 billion years. I would like to present that to you, and I would like to read a scroll that we have prepared as to our reason for our choice of you as the recipient of this award. Thank you. As President of the United States and leader of the free world, you are an energetic, inspiring exemplar for all senior Americans in respectful recognition of your sound standards of action and faith, which have reinstated older persons as valuable contributors to societies worldwide. The Federal Council on the Aging presents to you President Ronald Reagan, the 1985 Bertha S. Atkins Nautilus Award, Nature's Inspiration for Excellence. Well, thank you very much. I'm very proud to receive this Bertha Atkins Award, and I know of what she meant and what she did in her service. So I probably shouldn't be part of the mention to our party, <laughs> <laughs> more importantly, the nation, and on behalf of senior citizens, the, the elderly. And uh, I'm, I'm very proud to have this, and it is very proud. So we're really proud to have you as a symbol to all old Americans in the United States. We're proud to serve under you all. Very proud. Well, thank you very much. You know, I still though find myself just growing warm and basking when my old friend George Burns refers to me as Hey Kid. <laughs> <laughs> The president is a symbol of being eternally young. I'm going to do a cool yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. 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 say that yeah. the yeah. Felix is Would you like to have him yes. yes. get around us? We need, yeah. a, we need a group picture. Yes. 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 Do you think that's enough time for the president? Do everything you want to do. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, maybe you can match it. Which has great mathematical significance because in any shell you find the same mathematical components, and it's very famous for that. The Smithsonian has written articles about it. So it's a very, very interesting. And then it finally comes though to this mm -hmm. major piece. Yes. Uh -huh. And it's been the same all that time. Very proper for you. Very We added two things.
Rollins, Mr. Stanton, Coach Stanley, and members of the Old Dominion University women's basketball team. I've already said congratulations, but I'll say it again to all of you here, capturing the NCAA women's title in March. I know that Old Dominion is accustomed to winning on the national level, but this is an especially significant win since it's your first NCAA title. Coach Stanley, I understand that with you can teach us all the things you about inspiring the team and uh, getting everyone to work together. And could you give me a few pointers that <laughs> I like your advice of keep your feet moving and go forward even after you're hit. <laughs> Seriously, you and your players all put forward 100% in the title game against the Lady Bulldogs down in Texas. And Tracy Claxton, with Tracy, is that you? <laughs> well, your recognition as the most valuable player in the tournament was certainly well deserved after you pulled down 37 rebounds in the final game with Georgia and scored 17 points on top of that. And I understand that rebounding was one factor that made the difference in that sweet victory, and I know that Old Dominion is sad that this was your last year on the team. Again, to each of you, my congratulations. For those of you who are graduating, good luck in the future. And for those who will be returning to the team next year, just enjoy your summer vacation because Coach Stanley, if I'm any judge, will be waiting for you in the fall. <laughs> 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 President, on behalf of Dr. Alfred Rollins, our university president, Dr. James Jarrett, our athletic director, our board of visitors, our entire university community, but particularly these young ladies, our athletes, and my coaching staff, I'd like to thank you for personally taking the time today to recognize the 1985 NCAA National Champions for women's basketball. It's truly an honor and a thrill for us to be here. And we'd like to give you a couple of gifts. First of all, this is a championship ball, but this is no ordinary ball. Um, you already talked about some of my philosophy. One of those things is how to cut deficits. Maybe we can talk outside later. <laughs> uh, if you followed the game, you know that we were behind in the first half by 11 points and came back in the second half to win the game. And we're happy that you're safely home because things have been rough in the last couple of weeks. We'd like this to be a symbol for you. Good luck in the future. Trying to start the second half. So good luck. <laughs> Tracy also has a gift from the players themselves. Mr. President, on behalf of the Lady Monarch, we would like to present you with this jacket as a token of our appreciation. And by the way, would you please try out? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you be taking a shot 
and Ewing will pretend to be blocking me. And I looked up at Ewing and I said, what do you mean pretend? <laughs> well, listen, congratulations. Thank you. Six to thirty-four. But I start teaching him, and I went out to show him. And I—I I don't think I handled basketball for twenty-five years. And I shot plunk. I tried it again, plunk, and in it went. And pretty soon I said, "Wait a minute! Twenty-five years before I didn't do that." <laughs> and uh, then I found out it's two inches smaller around, and that's why all the one-handed thing and everything. The basketball was bigger. And the only way you could shoot a one-handed shot in those days was to balance it on your hand and push like that. But there was no gripping of the basketball or anything. Do they? Hey, Darren, I never knew that. I'm not leaving. You remember Jimmy? Ray, 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 Getting us? No, you, okay. you, you did get the whole family. You yes. want to do it over here? Oh, in all right. Than that? Yeah. Thank you. All right, now we'll have a family in. And I think if you get between us, it'll be a prettier picture. Thanks for letting me just meet you. It's just been a wonderful experience working in my house. Thank you. Pleased to have you here. Good luck. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 